Hey everyone, welcome back to my next Tarkov video. With all the recent changes to the hideout and the flea market and how things are rolling, I figured I'd throw another quick video together to show you what is the most profitable items to make in the hideout right now. The methodology of how I put these videos together isn't necessarily what items make the most money, but which ones make you the most money over time. So that's why I'll talk about things like price per minute or price per hour. There are some items that make you a huge amount of money. If you only put 300,000 in, they make you 300,000 back. There are some items that only make you a couple thousand, even though you put ten or 20,000 into them. But because of the period of time that it takes you to craft, they actually end up make more sense and will make you more money in the long run. This plays into a huge part why I don't craft materials to craft other materials, primarily in the workbench. Like I don't make blue gunpowder and red gunpowder and then use that to make something else because at the end of the day, the profit you're giving up for the time of your workbench running isn't worth it. Now, if you have items that you don't have that are found in raid and you don't want to sell them to traders and you, you can make something in your workbench with them or somewhere else, by all means do that because now you're actually getting value out of something that you wouldn't have much value with to begin with. But if you're just purely buying all of your components and making items, generally the things I will give you will be the most profitable to make. Now, I want to plug Tarkov Market again, just like always. The guys over there have a bunch of information that is super helpful for me to track a lot of the prices and trends on what's going on and give you guys good data on what to make. So if you have time, go over, check out their website. They got a lot of good stuff over there. All right, so the first thing we're going to jump into here is the med station. Right now, pile of meds seem to be the best thing to be making, especially if you can get your augmenting for in the 15,000 14, 12, I've even bought a bunch of it at 11,000. If you're doing that and you're making it into meds, this actually ends up being a pretty productive thing to build. And the reason for that is they changed this from two to uh, three. You used to only get two out of this craft and it really didn't make much sense. Now that it's three, it actually is pretty profitable. So the pile of meds will make you around 261 rubles a minute, 260 rubles a minute or right around 16K an hour. Salewas, so like usual, I make these, I sell them at 12,750. And that will net you about 8 to 10K an hour, depending on if you can you get lucky and find cheaper components on the flea market. So like before, one thing I want to mention is the propital production here. Um, if you use your golden stars like I do, and you get them down to one or two uses left, and th then use them to craft propitols, this is a really profitable way of making money. If you don't count the cost of the Golden Star, these things make you anywhere from 30 to 35K an hour, depending on if you can sell them from uh, 14 to 15, 16, sometimes even 17,000 a piece. So it's a pretty good thing to do at the end of every day uh, after you use up your Golden Star that you bought for. What are these going for? 65, 70, 80K? That's just my take on it, though. So I didn't talk about these last time, but I kind of wanted to touch on them with the craziness of everything's going on. Right now, your booze generator basically breaks even if you buy your components. You're not going to lose money, but you're not really going to make it either. So if you're doing it for your scab case, great. Just keep in mind that you're not going to be making buku bucks making this stuff. Now, if you're using crafted water and crafted sugar, you actually do pretty good. It nets you about, about 30k an hour um, with crafted water and sugar where they're at right now. But you gotta keep an eye on it because sugar is starting to get way more expensive. And I see it go up almost every day, a little bit more than it was the day before. Um, if you have your water collector upgraded to level three and you're able to make super water, these net you right around 12 to 13K an hour, depending on what you're buying your water filters at. That's based on the fact that your water filter doesn't get completely consumed for each bottle. You get dual use out of it essentially. It's about 60%. The nutrition unit is kind of a sad state of affairs right now. Um, sugar is getting to be ridiculous, and the flea market fee on it is actually absurd. It's almost 20% to sell sugar at its current price. So you're losing, if you're selling your sugar for 48K, your flea market fee is almost 10,000 rubles, which is just insane. So it makes it almost impossible to make money with sugar right now because chocolate follows it so closely. But you can make sugar for the moonshine, which is what I'm doing. You can still make a little bit of money with the condensed milks, but it's not much. Um, it's literally a couple thousand every cycle, if that even. It just depends on how much you get your sugar for. Over at the laboratory, uh, things haven't changed here really, even with a couple of new items. Um, I just got done with a mag case uh, that I made out of my two that I had made out of my two used fuel tanks. Um, but right now, scav backpacks are the way to go. You know, we'll buy our ripstop here for 8,300 and our fleece for 8,000. And so we got, we'll say, 17,000 in costs. And you're able to sell these things for 
14 usually. Like you see a lot of lower prices, but if you list them for 14, you'll almost always sell them. And this will net you, uh, it's about 10K an hour. It's not a lot, but like I said, every little bit helps. The mag case, um, if you're making those with your used fuel, this actually does okay. It's, uh, you'll make about 25K an hour doing these, but you can't sell them on the flea market. You have to sell them to a vendor um, or it, it, the fee's just too big. You know, you're paying almost 35,000 for the fee on these with how they've upgraded the, with how they've increased. You're paying almost 35K in flea market fees with how they have uh, them increased right now. And hopefully that temporary change doesn't last much longer. So the Intel Center's kind of got some new items in it. Um, the graphics cards are super cool to make, but the most profitable item right now is the VPX. They don't net you that much per hour because these take so long to make, but you'll make about 250K each time you make one of these buying your component. So it's a pretty good bump to your bottom line when you do get to sell these. Graphics cards are great, but again, the flea market fee high is very high on them. Currently right now with graphics cards at 600,000, give or take, you're paying over 100,000 for your flea market fee to sell these. So if you're buying, making them for yourself, great, but it's more productive to make VPXs. And lastly, intelligence still makes you money. I didn't have any found in raids, so I couldn't look up the flea market fee. Uh, but assuming you're 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 about ten percent on these, you will see about one hundred and fifteen k each time you make these. Now, if you buy these thumb drives cheap like they are now, you're doing even better, and you'll make a little bit more money. Now, over to the workbench where everybody should be able to make money no matter what level you're at. Uh, the most profitable item right now is still the green gunpowder, the Hawk gunpowder. Um, again, that requires you to be able to buy these from the vendor, though. If you're not buying these from the vendor, then it doesn't make sense to do it. You have to buy them like this. So the green gunpowder is netting you about 24 to 25K an hour, depending on if it's at the 68 or 75,000 ruble price that you see it in the market pretty frequently. Very close behind this right now is the printed circuit board, and these you'll be able to make at any level. These things have gotten very popular, I assume, because of the need for graphics cards. Um, so you have a lot more people buying them, uh, as well as the barter for the magazines. So if you're getting your parts pretty cheap here, uh, you know, sub 10,000s for your DVD drives, like right now you're seeing seven to eight, but you can get these as low as six sometimes. And then your flathead screwdriver, as long as you're under about 20,000, which right now they're expensive. You just got to keep an eye on it. You're able to make these circuit boards and, and get two of them, and then these are selling anywhere from 22, 23, sometimes 30,000 right now. Uh, the market's real volatile with these, but there's a good opportunity to make some decent money with circuit boards right now. Honorable mention here, just because they do make you good money, um, they'll let you about 19K an hour, we'll say, is uh, your SP6, which is your uh, VSS ammo. This nets you, right again, about 19K an hour. Uh, so does the wires, which where did those go? Wires are the same thing. And as well as the RDG5s, uh, all the way at the bottom somewhere here. Using this, buying this OFZ shell, right around 100, 110K, even cheaper now. And then you can sell these for, you know, anywhere from 14 to 15,000, depending on when people are buying them. So that's a real good money maker right there as well. Uh, a little bit below that is in your 13 to 16K an hour make is basically your 9 mil ammo. So your rip ammo, uh, your PBM ammo, which I talked about in my last video, all of this stuff, where's the PBM at? PBM is all the way down here. And then um, the AP63, this nets you about 13 to 16K depending on where bullet prices are. It's pretty volatile, so you can make a little bit more or make a little bit less depending on when you sell. But they're all a solid choice for making money. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I know we kind of blew through it quickly. I hope it was helpful. If you guys want more detail, don't hesitate to comment down below on what you would like me to dive into or you have any questions on. Um, if you found any value in this, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel out a bunch and pushes this to other people. Plus, it'll let you know when I come up with good ways of making money, you'll be one of the first ones to see them. I stream on Twitch most every day, so you can come over and hang out and ask questions to your heart's content there as well. We also have a pretty good Discord community. Um, you can come check that out if you want to and hang out with the rest of us that are deep into the economy side of the game or just have a cool group of guys to play Tarkov with. So with that, I'll sign off. I hope everybody's making money, and I wish you the best of luck in your raids.